Good evening. We begin tonight with another extraordinary day at the inquiry into the use of the Emergencies Act. Key testimony today from Councillor Diane Deans about those critical days as the chief of police resigned and she was being pushed out as chair of the Police Services Board. Today's testimony includes a recording of a tense phone call between Deans and Watson just as she's about to be pushed out by him. Deans also testified Chief slowly mentioned cutting him a check if people wanted him out with Deans also saying slowly misjudged the resolve of convoy protesters. CTV's Katie Griffin has been following this for us again today. Katie? Well, Graham, so much has been made about how this was able to happen, and we've heard consistently, including today, that slowly believed the trucks would be gone by the end of the weekend. A document released today shows that days before the convoy arrived, OPP warned that protesters intended to stay indefinitely. All this as a surprise recording between Diane Deans and the mayor provides new insight into the chaos. At the height of the occupation, Diane Deans knew she was being ousted as police board chair and wanted the mayor to admit it. I think I, I've worked really hard for the last 20 days. I think it would be a courtesy to at least let me know what's coming at me. Yeah, I'm going to talk to some counselors today uh, as I try to before every meeting and uh, see what uh, their plans are and, and if I get any sense of what's going on, I'll try to give you a heads up. Are you, would you support a vote of non-confidence in me? Um, I haven't decided that yet. That recording between Deans and Jim Watson played at the Emergencies Act inquiry, which also heard the moment Deans told the mayor she was hiring an interim police chief. I'm going to sign a contract with a new chief today, and I believe he will start on Monday. That's why I thought you might want to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what happens to Steve? He's well, Steve is the deputy chief. I mean, I, the way I see it is that this is probably going to save Steve's opportunity to become the next chief. I, I guess the problem I have with this is there's been no <clears throat> process. There's no transparency. All of this coming after former police chief Peter Slowly resigned. I had made some comment along the lines of, Chief, slowly, you know there's a lot of people in the city that want your head. <laughs> and um, he, he sort of surprised me with the reply that he made. His reply was, well, cut me a check and I'll be out of here. Dean's testifying about growing frustration and feeling left in the dark about a plan to get trucks out of the core. I'd also like to have been able to greater satisfy ourselves that there was a plan. Well, you were assured there was a plan and you were given details about that plan, I suggest to you, daily by Chief Slowly. Um, what days are we talking about? We were seeing more details of a plan as we went on, but for a lot of those 20 days, it did not feel that I was getting detailed information about a plan. That phone call giving just one glimpse into the ugly side of politics at a time when you had streets clogged with big rigs, horns blaring at all hours, and no major police action yet. People were wondering what was going on. That's a snapshot. Patricia. It's a lot. All right, CTV's Katie Griffin live for us tonight. Thank you. Welcome.